facing up against Eddie Davis later on right here on NBC. Marv Albert with the Fight Doctor, Ferdy Pacheco, and Dick Ember. We're live from Convention Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And this is round seven. Piece of uh, tape coming off the glove of Bobby Chez's left hand. Sooner or later, they're going to have to stop that to cut off that piece of tape. Because that can flick into an eye and that can do damage as well as a thumb. Incidentally, one of the greatest reasons for the thumbless glove is what you just saw two rounds ago. How do you score it now? 3-2-1, and I've given it uh, to Hamshow. It's quite unofficial. He may well be even further ahead. It may be a 4-2 fight if that even round was for Hamshow. Scoring is on the round system, and if the round is even, they go to the five-point must to break the deadlock. Well, if it was his plan to wait till the later rounds to apply pressure, now's his chance because he's got seven, eight, nine, and ten, and he better start doing something different. And Chess looking to go up on his toes. That's his fight. In and out, punching and moving. This is not his fight when he stands still. All right, hold it. Referee Larry Hazard with a very difficult task with two brawling style fighters has handled it well. And it has not been, been nearly as bad as anticipated for the simple reason that Hamcho didn't need to maul and brawl. He has been punching cleanly. Domination by Chad. Oh! have been Chess's most effective punch of the evening. He stunned Hampshire after taking the hard shot. And another good left hand by Hampshire. It may have been his best punches. He took the best and he gave the best. Back to the movement that his corner wants. In and out. Fight. Oh, another one of those Scipion moves. Scipion being the victim, not the one that did the, the shoving. Setting up with the elbow to the left, the left hand. They want Chess to get out of the corner. Okay, let me have it out of there. Come on. Bobby needs to punch. He cannot stand here. Watch that elbow. All right, I got it. Hazard again. Watch the elbow. When Hampshire misses with a punch, the elbow follows as the night the day, and Bobby is getting hammered. The experience of the 29-year-old Hampshire dictating the play against 20-year-old Bobby Chez. You saw the deep breath by Chez as we go seven rounds complete. Good action in round seven as Hampshire delivers first the right, then the right on the glove, and a tremendous left hand, but Chez able to rally back, and he caught Hampshire with the left. Good counter by Chez. This guy's dead. You let him do everything. I can't. Let him do it. Do it. Walk in and play. Come on, you got to take all your shots now. Come on. Okay. You got to start taking your shots. Come on. Come on now. You got to start coming on now. Thank you. Come on. Dwight Muhammad Quawi so checking things out, watching Mustafa Hamcho and Bobby Chez as Quawi gets set to go up against third-ranked Eddie Davis, defending his WBC light heavyweight title for the third time. That's coming up later on right here on NBC. This is round eight. And Hamcho out strong to open up. has been taken from Mustafa Hamsho. Larry Hazard has just taken that round because that was three or four fouls all at once. And curiously, he doesn't need it because he's way ahead and Chez needs a knockout to win. He's getting himself into such a hole he can't get out. And again, Chez back to the southpaw style. Bobby Chez coming in 
20 and 0, 15 by knockout, a local favorite in the New Jersey area. just gave him the back of a glove when he missed he gave him six or seven straight jabs because bob bobby doesn't punch back he is able to get away with six or seven jabs and then a right hand right, what a boxing up. lesson up. bobby chess is getting tonight all right let's break step back mustafa hamshaw comes in at 34 and 2 one draw 21 by knockout among his Victories, wins over Curtis Parker, Alan Mentor, Wilfred Scipion. His last fight was as a light heavyweight back in May, so it's been a long layoff, yet he has looked very sharp. The difference in the experience of these fighters is startling. Mustafa Hamcho is trained by Patty Flood, who believes in his fighters fighting maximum efforts every time. And we have seen Bobby Chess has only two tough fights, Teddy Man and Sim. Do you think that's the difference, Marv? Looks to be because that the criticism going in concerning Chez. Of course, we still have a couple rounds to go, but the Chez felt that he would quiet his critics. He has not done it to this point. The only positive thing you can say is he's a young man and he has to learn from these lessons, and that is what makes a champion. As I keep saying, funny things happen on the way to the championship, and nights like this can teach you more than a world of work in a gymnasium. So we come to the conclusion of round eight and another solid round from a Stuffa Ham show. Brown taken away from Mustafa and you see the foul. He pushes him with his forearm, hits him with his head and drives his arm into the Adam's apple of Bobby Chez. Bobby starting this round knowing he's got to fight. And he caught Ham show as we open up with round nine. A powerful right hand by Chez, who may be in a position where he needs a knockout. Tough to tell because of the round that was taken away from Hampshire. But Chez has come out a different fighter. Now Chez looks like the fighter that we've seen before, brawling and brawling. A crowd responding to the rally of Wanakee, New Jersey's Bobby Chez. Opening minute, round nine. Bobby Chez Sr. in one of his more quiet moments. A minute gone by. Ninth round. Watch the elbow, says Larry Hazard, this time to Bobby Chez. Bobby has got to continue to fight in that convincing manner. Because while I think he needs a uh, knockout, still he may still be in it because of that round that was taken away. But here comes Hamsho. Excellent combination by Mustafa Hamsho. Mustafa is fighting a fairly flawless fight. Mustafa Hamsho, who is ranked third by Ring Magazine, going up against Bobby Chez, who is ranked tenth. By ring. All right, hurry, get out of there. Let him out. Let him out. Mustafa Hamso is just too physical, and he's too experienced for Bobby Chez right now. He is doing everything a veteran fighter does to a novice. And we're less than a minute left in this ninth round. When we look back at this one, good right hand by Chez. The early difficulties of Chez could be because he attempted to pace himself, something that Jerry Cooney criticized, criticized himself about going uh, into the Larry Holmes bout. He said he was so concerned with going the distance, and uh, that may be the same situation here. I think so. You sort of outthink yourself. A veteran fighter takes that opening bell and he does everything he can every round and forgets about that master plan. Final seconds. Ninth round. And we will stay right here to check out the corner. Bobby Chad, there's Jerry Cooney. 
taking it all in at ringside. Many wonder if he's ever going to come back into the gym. Well, he has uh, made his return. He has begun his uh, preparation, but the question is so uh, what his next fight will be. Come on, you gotta get out of here, Bobby. This is it. Come on, we got everything game. Slip that body now, bring it up. Okay? Slip to the body and give me an uppercut. Just keep going right back in, right back in, right back in. Throwing him back, you up, you back him up. You gotta get off. You gotta get off first. Come on, let's go. You got three minutes to go, baby. Come on, you can take this guy. Come on, pull it down. Come on, let's go. Come on. And Mustafa Hampshire well in front on our scorecard coming out for the 10th and final round. It appears that Bobby Chez needs a knockout. And I think his corner echoed those sentiments that you need a knockdown or a knockout. Bobby, curiously enough, is now up on his toes, a position he should have had through the first five rounds of this fight. As we know, one of the toughest things to do is to knock out a fighter when you have to, and Hampshire, curiously enough, has never been knocked out, and marvelous Marvin Hagler did all a human being could do to do so. That fight was stopped in the 11th round as Hampshire required 50 stitches. He was cut up by Hagler back in October of 81, so Hampshire is very difficult to knock down, but Tez delivering here in this final round. But he got a beautiful combination he got hammered it looked like somebody just flicked the switch and he stopped cold and we're halfway through the step and final round there is finally blood on the left eye of Mustafa Hampshire, and what a shame after this game battle that Hampshire's put up to be cut in the final minutes of this bout. The blood is pouring down the left eyebrow of Mustafa Hampshire. That is truly a shame. He's fought such a hard fight. Bobby getting hammered now. And again, thrown by show Chez was off balance or under a minute left Tenth and final round it looks like it's in the spot of that old cut with Hagler that took the oh. oh. Hazard caught him on the first bounce like a good shortstop second time that Chez has been thrown down and the bowling rolling style of hand show is concluding matters very very well and you know what you're seeing, Marv? It's the rage of Hampshire being cut. He was cruising along, content to win this fight, and now he's mad. And he's Hampshire finishing very, very strong. He is fighting That's like a street fighter now. He is so mad at being cut, and I cannot blame him. So we come final seconds, tenth and final round, and on our scorecard, it appears no question about it. A victory for Mustafa Hatcher about to end with a low ball. The scoring on the round system. If the round is even, they go to the five-point bus to break the tie. We'll be back with the decision right after we pause for these words. At Atlantic City for the decision. Let's go to the ring announcer, Ed Darian. Ladies and gentlemen, on this great Murat Muhammad Incorporated and Main Events Promotions, we have a unanimous decision. And the scoring as follows Judge Harold Rutherford scoring at 7 3. Judge Tommy Kazmarek scoring at 7 2 1. 
and referee Larry Hassett scores it 5-4-1, and the winner, Mustafa Hampshire. So, Bobby Chaz. His unbeaten string ends at 20 in a row. Promising 20-year-old. He paid his dues tonight. Took on the third-rated middleweight in the world, Mustafa Hamsho, and was bested solidly. A unanimous decision. Let's go up to Marv Albert. All right, Dick. First uh, to Ferdy and Mustafa Hamsho. Mustafa, first of all, a regret for that cut in that last round. Bob, I can't take anything, you know. Is there anything, you know, it can happen, boxer? Bob, he don't mean it, he but me, you know, he taught me. Probably he don't mean, but I, I think he's a very, very strong fighter. He take a lot of pressure from me. I don't accept it to be taken from me. He's a great fighter, and he have a lot of things to go. Were you were you hurt by the punches that he uh, hit you with in counter uh, no, punching? No, no, no. I have, thank God, thank God, thank Allah, and I have a lot of strong chain, you know. And this fight, I uh, I give it to Asurdo because he's in the, the guy in the beginning who bring, bring me up. I want to thank God. And thank Patty almost, Flood and everybody at the Miami oh, Fifth Street Gym that where you train. Outside. And the sunshine. I want to thank to my friend. Come well, on. All right. At, Saud and Nayet. All right. While we're talking about this, let me ask you one quick question. This young man was 20 and 0. Do you think he had the experience to get in uh, with you today? I know. He, I don't think he have a heart to go with me, but he proved it today. Bobby Chase, oh, I want to thank. I want to thank my friend who come all the way from. Uh, Miami Beach, my two friends, Saud and Nayef, and I appreciate it. Give me a lot of hope in Miami to train hard for this fight, and we thank God. Okay. And Allah. Hamsho, you're, you're talking as fast as you're punching. Let me get to, to Marv Albert, who's got a little bit different uh, view. All right, Ferdy, uh, Bobby, how tough is this uh, for you? He's extremely tough. Uh, I think what uh, was the case here was a little inexperience in the 10-round go, and uh, he's got a little maturity, 29 to 20 in years and strength, and uh, that was just a deciding factor. Because I had him, uh, I thought I could outbox him lefty, switched to his own way. The dad was getting in, uh, he was just too strong physically. Why Why did you make the transition? Uh, it, it seemed from your corner they were unhappy as you continue to go from the convention over the south ball. Well, my defense isn't quite as good as a lefty. So his consistency got through more than it should have. Uh, but he was very, very aware of my le left jab. And uh, he let me hit him with the right. That's what opened up three or four cuts. And I was going to try and use that for the rest of my ability. Uh, but I had a few problems in there judging him. Uh, his head is tremendously hard, as well as his forearms and elbows. But uh, we got each other a few times, and it's just one of those things. What about being tossed down several times? Uh, there were, I would think, what can be labeled dirty tactics uh, by both you and uh, Mustafa. But what's your reaction to landing on the canvas uh, on a couple of occasions? Uh, I've had it in the amateurs where guys were just bulls. But I was able to get up and outbox him. Wasn't the case here. I got to get back to the gym. I'm going to take a little rest and uh, heal up, and I'll be back. And providing he's still around next year, I'd like to get him again. All right. The words of to, Bobby Chez. I have to apologize to my fans across the country, uh, and uh, I'm very sorry I let you down. And uh, I'll be back, and I'm sure I'll make you proud of me again. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's get back to ringside to Dick Enberg. All right, thank you, Marv. And Ferdy, reviewing the scoring again. The referee had it 5, 4, and 1. The judges scored it 7, 3, and 7, 2, 1. We had it 6, 2, and 2. Mustafa Hamsho, clearly the winner over popular Bobby Chez, whose unbeaten string ends at 20. Took a major leap ahead trying to beat Hamsho. Could not do it tonight. Now has to regroup. We agreed with him. It appeared to be a mistake that he switched to the southpaw style. He got 20 and 0, fighting an orthodox as a right hander, went to the left handed style, and was was beaten to the punch consistently tonight, but a sportsman in his first defeat. Mustafa Hamshow, the winner, unanimous decision. He 